Edge Celsius presents Across and Down Orchestrating from Clouds to Edges. Fact, the proliferation of specialized clouds will drive workload orchestration and make winners out of edge platforms that leverage cloud-native operations. In the beginning, it was all cloud. Hyatt, although back then it was just a data center, usually in a basement of a nondescript building. I remember toiling down in one of these rooms at Boston University back in the 80s, humming with folks just trying to get their jobs to run without errors. Since I lived a mile away, often in the cold Boston snow or sweltering heat, I quickly ginned up an edge device, a terminal connection from my dorm room over a slow modem. Suffice to say, there was barely any processing happening on that edge device. No workload management and certainly no virtual machines or containers being spun up. And since then, semiconductors, networks, and all kinds of edge devices have become way more sophisticated. And our hyperscaler cloud build-out resembles a scene from the creator. Our analog modems have been replaced with dark fiber, low latency 5G, and LoRaWAN. And yet the architecture remains basically the same. You have a job that needs to run on the cloud, or on a pop near the edge on a server box, or maybe a gateway on-prem, or maybe even on a sensor on the shelf at your local grocery. These workloads are running AI models or simple compute or updating software or firmware. How do you manage these workloads? When and where they run? What permissions they have? How does the data flow? This is the magic of orchestration, which means the automated coordination and management of multiple systems, applications and services. Orchestration is a nascent but growing market. According to Insight Partners, the global cloud orchestration market size is expected to grow from USD 13.87 billion in 2021 to reach USD 53.40 billion by 2028, at a CAGR of 21.5% from 2022 to 2028. Before we get into edge workload orchestration, we need to acknowledge that the advent of all of these cloud-native DevOps are bringing some really interesting second-order implications. If you can now manage workloads from cloud to edge, why not orchestrate them across clouds as well? The Fortune 50 may run many workloads on Azure or AWS, but they may also be running on GCP or some workloads on Oracle, all for different reasons. These companies may also have a legacy data center where they keep other workloads running or want to shift workloads around to mitigate cost, availability, or run on greener platforms to benefit their carbon profile. Orchestrating these workloads require a new set of tools such as Anthos from Google, Azure Arc from Microsoft, AWS CloudFormation, and more third-party orchestration tools that perhaps provide a more neutral approach, such as Terraform or Cloudify. It's too early to tell who will lead here, and it's not necessarily a winner-take-all market. Azure Arc, as an example, is a collection of capabilities specifically designed to pull in non-Azure data center workloads into a single pane of glass and deploy cloud-like services in a cloud-agnostic manner. The advantage of that platform is that you can keep a consistent dev environment with any GitOps-compatible CI-CD framework and still leverage your legacy data centers and alternative clouds. This multi-cloud capability is creating some really interesting offerings. Look at CoreWeave, who quickly established themselves with an AI-focused cloud with heavy investment from NVIDIA with a $7 billion valuation. We could see a proliferation of industry vertical clouds that are targeted at healthcare, FinOps, sovereignty within geographies, and more. The hyperscaler cloud universe could end up deconstructing itself into these more special purpose clouds, where performance, cost, and capabilities will be fine-tuned for these specific workloads. 
Now that we have kicked up so much dust here on managing cloud workloads, how do we then extend that capability outside the data center to the edge? This is easy to whiteboard, but hard to implement and deploy. The primary challenge is that creating a CNCF compliant container that acts like a cloud container requires device resources, especially memory. Edge device value propositions hinge on their judicious use of resources and cost. There is a paradox between the desire of consistent cloud native DevOps on the edge and the gravitational pull to use only as many resources needed to get the job done. Fortunately, the CNCF community has been working on taking the K8 construct into resource-constrained edge devices with constructs like K3s. This provides an orchestration capability for workloads, but with functional subsets in scheduling, self-healing, and other Kubernetes capabilities. There are other efforts for lighter weight Kubernetes environments such as micro K8s, pronounced micro K8s, and sold serviced by Canonical. Minikube is another lighter weight Kubernetes environment, although it too requires some edge resources, a minimum of 2 GB of RAM and 20 GB of storage. A good example of an edge-based K8 K3 implementation is the Azure Kubernetes services in Windows IoT. These types of medium edge environments play well with orchestration systems like Azure Arc or Zedita or Arna Networks for telco orchestration. Beyond the micro K8s, mini cubes, and K3s, into the light and tiny edges, things are getting a bit murkier and creative. There is a project called AKRI, a Kubernetes Resources Initiative, which is a CNCF project to run container based orchestration on gateways that have multiple leaf sensors hanging off of it. There are also companies like MicroEJ and Wind River with hypervisor-based embedded containers. Cloud and edge orchestration based on Kubernetes and container-based DevOps is here to stay, with functions including traditional compute but also fresh-trained AI workloads to even device provisioning and photo. Companies that are betting their digital transformations on cloud-to-edge solutions will be insisting on seamless orchestration of workloads across clouds, from multiple hyperscalers to boutique cloud providers. Ah, but also down to their edge devices, from blade servers on-prem to gateways, cameras, automotive IVI and CVC systems, and beyond to Cortex-M-based sensors. Edge device builders would be wise to have container-based orchestration capabilities with service partners. Orchestration companies should be enabling as broad of an ecosystem they can, and commercial customers should be insisting on a cloud-native DevOps approach. Across and down, orchestrating a cloud of clouds all the way to the tiny edge. We've come a long way. More at edgecelsior.com.